Ring Jewel, filled tonight with 94,000 fans. And this one, between Washington and Ohio State, will be a helmet rattler. You can go ahead and penalize us, but you can't stop us from beating you. Jim Lambright, the new head coach of the Washington Huskies, who must watch the Rose Bowl for the next two years. Meanwhile, the Buckeyes of Ohio State, John Cooper in his sixth year. Sports welcomes you to college football. A prime time special. The Huskies of Washington against the Buckeyes of Ohio State. Butler by Note, number 33, over on the left, is the quickest of their running backs. Number 83, well, he's one of their wide receivers, Terry Glenn, the 5'11 freshman. said don't even think about it Bobby Hoyne who went 13 of 22 against Rice and through his first touchdown as the Ohio State started there are the backs the fullback Houston will lead the way for Raymond Harris and several other tailbacks Sanders Joey Galloway back as the big play man that familiar basic eye formation the fullback lead this time the fake and they're gonna throw on first down and they get it to Galloway's hands over the middle and Russell Harrison there and an Ohio State first down. The Huskies show five on the defensive front against this big offensive line. Raymond Harris powers through it. There's Andy Mason, two of the finest offensive tackles in the land. Alan Klein and Corey Springer. Springer only a sophomore at 310 pounds. Matched against this front seven. Number 75, DeMarco Farr, one of the best in the land. And the linebackers, who frequently will step up to the line and add to the pressure. They'll show six and seven man rushes. Coin pulls out. The safety valve over here to Harris. Harris to the 45 at midfield. Harris to the 45. And Jones, the rover, bringing him down. He has got a tough, long season ahead of him. Now Saunders, the tight end, goes to the left for the Buckeyes. Here's the toss now. Harris trying to get turned upfield. Harris powers ball down on the ground, but it was whistled down. Lamar Lyons, the Schmidt, Springstead, Butler, Mason. Andy Mason used to be a defensive end. Now he's a linebacker. And here Jones, Lyons, Harrison, and Reeser. But this is a very talented offensive line. again from Cooper's sideline the slot receiver is off to Hoyne's right it's Harris for the first down and first and ten for the Bucks the seventh play of the opening drive of the game to the Huskies 35 they start pulling up a play fake to Harris they're collapsing he steps up against the pressure and throws complete the big joy Galloway out of bounds Coin with 19 more yards starts out three of three for 49 yards. They pound with the fullback Jeff Cothran, the senior Donovan Schmidt hanging on. Steve Hoffman checks in. Now it is Harris, and Harris continues to run superbly. First and goal for the Bucks. have yet to answer with one Napoleon Kaufman. That's next. 
the Buckeyes score on their opening drive against Washington. And Williams kicks it to the Huskies. At the 14 is Napoleon Kaufman, slips the first would-be tackler. What a jitterbugger he is. Sophomore Damon Huard at quarterback, number seven. And it is Kaufman getting the first call, Lorenzo Stiles. And here is the young man who takes over. A lot of pressure on his shoulders here tonight. He did an excellent job with three touchdown passes against Stanford. Kaufman is there. Matt Jones, great blocker. Krolik is back after a one-game suspension. Shelley and Mark Bruner. His brother, the quarterback there. Another brother, the eighth-grade quarterback. Complete to Shelley, who plays in the Atlanta Braves organization. Navelle, the center, and he is surrounded by a lot of talent. Lincoln Kennedy, of course, gone, but Peterson, Garcia, Gallagher were there, matched against a fine defense. Big Daddy. Big Daddy's number 72, Dan Wilkinson. They're checking off. And it's a toss to Kaufman on third and one. Kaufman gets the job done. Now the backers, Williams, Lorenzo Stiles, the middleman for the Buckeyes, and Craig Powell, Walton, Nelson, Taylor, and Kerner. Chico Nelson switched from free to strong safety for Cooper this year. First and ten. Theron Hill is the motion receiver. And it's Kaufman again. Good hole provided by the middle of the offensive line. Jones back in at fullback. Gets the carry. And he is wrapped up by Jason Simmons. Off a of play fake. Tosses the fullback Jones, who's an excellent receiver. And it's a first down. straight back offensive line gives him time and Jones bobbling it three receivers to Huard's left quick drop but he'll flare it to Kaufman incomplete and now it is third and ten defensive and offensive coaches up there helping him make decisions Huard flushed out of the pocket takes off upfield and Huskies are forced to punt John Wardell punting. Galloway is the return man. Another way they can get the ball into his hands. He fumble! The Huskies pounce on it, I believe. Washington recovers Galloway's fumble at the Buckeye 15-yard line. Kaufman set very deep as the running back. Gets the hands off that. Runs into his own guard as the defensive line was pushing him right back. Frank Garcia with his hands full against Big Daddy. And they hand it off to Kaufman on that quick hitter. And we'll get to that right after this play. Here is third down for the Huskies. Huard complete for the score. And Krolik sliding into the end zone. And the ball was down. There is a penalty flag down. Personal foul. Personal foul, hands in the face, on the offense, 15 yards from the flag, repeat the now. Ball at the 34-yard line, third and 29, Heward being chased, drops it off to Kaufman on the screen, got around Walton and still going to the 20, and out of bounds at the 12-yard line, Taylor pushing him out. So the field goal for Travis Hansen, It'll be a 29-yard attempt. Eric Bjornsson, the backup quarterback and wide receiver, will put it down. And hits it. Hammers it through. Ohio State leading, but Washington on the board. Both score with their first possession. He's played in three straight Rose Bowls, winning two before losing. Now they'll be idle for the next two. Here they are starting the second quarter in Columbus, Ohio, against the Buckeyes, trailing 7-3. Damon Huard, the sophomore quarterback at the controls, running the option, the pitch to Kaufman. Jones leading the way. Jones takes Walton out, and Kaufman picks up five more with that downfield block. pep talk prior to the Huskies' victory over Stanford last week. Huard straight back. Finds time, Jason Shelley again. 
to the 28-yard line. What a beautiful scene. Only the second night game in history here. Columbus for the Buckeyes. Third and two. Kaufman for the first down. Now definitely no first down. Third and seven. Ford under pressure, out of bounds. Good pass rush. So here it comes. Bjornsson, the backup quarterback, will put it down. It'll be a 50-yard attempt. He kicked a 54-yarder the other day that was wide and outside, but long enough. And this one's no good. His return from Colorado State. He's doing a radio show here. He rattled a few helmets out there in Fort Collins, didn't he? Oh, he's still got it on the keeper. Gonna go for the whole bundle. Oh, beautiful play by Reeser. No wonder he was beaten by a step. Now it's Hoyne and the Bucks again. And Hoyne coming back, firing down the right side to his fullback who slipped out of the backfield. Jeff Cothran, great play for the Bucks. They move inside the Washington 45. And they come pounding back with big Raymond Harris. The workhorse at Mono Stringer doing a job here, and they're giving Bobby Hoyne time, and his confidence is starting to pick up here. Here's the toss now. Oh, Good nice defense, defense that time by the Huskies. Fontaine just called this the Woody. They made a living off of this. They're coming after it. Pullback lead. Harris slips it. Got his way to the 35-yard line. That's not going to be enough for a first down. It would only be a 15-yard punt. But here comes John Cooper. He thinks he can pick it up. Fourth down. Hoyne going to roll. He's going to throw for it, and he's got it. Galloway to the end zone. A fourth down touchdown. He scored in a 48-yarder last week. Now a 35-yarder on fourth and two. And Timmy Williams makes it 14 to three. Could the Buckeyes be back? We'll find out. Clinton can get 29 yards in a heartbeat. They like to get the ball to Kralik in these situations. First it's Kaufman and Big Daddy got there as soon as the ball did get up and make plays like that. Incomplete, Jason Shelley. Big Daddy in the big house tonight, folks. There was movement in the offensive line. Dead ball, both stars on the offense. Five yards, repeat third down. It's about a good field goal range again. Again. 49 to go. That's the second time this has happened in the first half. Ewart comes back complete to the 21-yard line. That's short of the first down. Face mask, they'll add that on, five yards. On a first and 10, Hewitt gets good time oh. and almost serves up an interception. And Buckeyes, led by Big Daddy Wilkinson, doing a number. Now with time coming down, Hewitt keeps it in the air. Incomplete, and the pop was delivered. By I never saw a flag, Brent. Personal foul against the defense, half the distance to the goal, first down. Let's see if they can capitalize. Flanker to the left. Hillard hands it to Kaufman, and Kaufman is brought down. 122 left in the half. Three receivers to Hillard's left, looking in that direction, firing high and incomplete. Kralik was the receiver, but he was overthrown. Nick Vermeil, we got one brewing here at the end of the first half. Looks the pressure. Fires to a diving receiver for the touchdown. Theron Lee. Theron Hill in the back of the end zone with a fine grab. Hill with six points for the Huskies and time running down in the first half. From this formation, they like to roll out, Brent, with the back set in that position. Here they come. You are firing incomplete. 
14-9. The two-point conversion fails. The second half here in Columbus. Washington will get the first possession. Tim Williams picking off for the buck. High short fielded at the seven by Coffin. Coffin was held to 28 net yards from scrimmage. And he's wrapped up here at the 31. A little bit better and uh, a couple of defensive line adjustments. All right, thanks, Coach. Good luck. Well, Dick, they start off the second half. They might have to run more at Big Daddy Wilkinson here in the second half, not let him penetrate. And again, they go to the fullback. John Saunders, what's up now? Hoffman, the lone running back. Off of fake, the blitz is on. Ball is down on the ground. And it's Ohio State's ball on the fumble. Buckeyes force a fumble with Jason Simmons coming in. First and 10 for the Bucks, trying to take advantage of the turnover here in the early going of the second half. And it's Harris hole in the middle of that defense. At least in yardage, it was so much, not so much in Russian pass attempts, but in yardage gain, it was pretty balanced. Throw on the slants, intercepted by Lewis Jones of the Huskies. They run the slant pattern, and Hoy cuffs up the interception. Jones again gets the call. Second and seven. The option's put on the ground on the pitch, and Kaufman has to wrap it up right away. And the hand to Kaufman and Styles. Wardell under enormous pressure. There's a penalty flag down. Galloway fielding the punt. Five yard running into the kicker on the defense. Declined. First down at the end of the kick. DeMarco Farr leading that defensive rush for the Huskies. He had a fabulous first half. Point throwing again and incomplete into that sideline. How about SMU leading Wisconsin? Second and ten. Raymond Harris has been the workhorse. Off the fake coin, steps to the right. Going complete to Galloway. Galloway crosses midfield to the 44-yard line. Josh Moore pops him. It's all of last year with that knee injury. First down for Hoyne in the box. Panote going nowhere because DeMarco Farr was all over him. DeMarco Farr, I think. After hurry, the seconds were ticking away off a of play fake. Hoying straight back, Farr pursuing it, and he throws almost intercepted again. Houston now checks in at fullback. That's the shotgun look, Hoying, and down he goes, and you know who's got him. Big number 75, DeMarco Farr. The 14-yarder. This one much better. It's Pino. And for Daylon, he's a dangerous return man. Very unkind to Washington in this half. Four possessions, three turnovers, and one. Now, Bino Bryant and Richard Thomas. They're the running backs for the Huskies here. And it's Richard Thomas, the sophomore. He was a fast defense through the years out in Seattle. Now, Damon Huard. The option look. Bino's cut off. Wilkinson got through first. There's a whole lot of cows on the run when they Coverage see Coverage is wrong here, Brent. All right, let's see what he can do against it. You are throwing. Krolik's got, got it. And it was not jarred loose on the hit by Kerner. Now the delay. Bryant, he's showing flashes, and Walton runs him down. Hoffman. A little bit more of that inside. This is kind of a different look from this running back right here. It's a change up as Janoski comes in motion. The toss is to Bryant to the short side. Now on the cutback. He's in a foot race. And Pino Bryant across midfield to the 45 yard line. Craig Powell chasing him. The Buckeye 45. Huskies on the move, being led by Pino Bryant. Play fake. It's the Kaufman who's checked back in. You are down the right sideline, incomplete, but a penalty flag is down. Utah. The 
ball at the Buckeye 35. It's Kaufman. Kaufman runs into the middle in Styles. Now second down and nine with Hill, who scored their touchdown in motion. They fire it outside to Jason Shelley. And Shelley with Walton draped all over him. Pick Kaufman, the tailback. And they use the fullback. Second down and nine. keeps it. The Huskies are in that situation where they can use two downs to get the five yards. And we'll return with the fourth quarter between Washington and Ohio State after this word from our ABC station. Wonderful setting in Columbus, Ohio. Ohio State leading Washington 14-9. This is Washington's longest drive of the night. Third and five at the 19. And they fired a Kaufman and Kaufman is out of bounds. The toss to Kaufman. Kaufman inside the 10. Ball at the Buckeye 7. Kaufman to the 3. Boy, and that leaves them third and short. They can get a ton of downs here with only a yard to go. Now Heward on the roll. He is stuck coming back. Here is Hanson now, a 21-yard attempt. Bjornsson, the backup quarterback, will put it down. So Hanson gets his job done. The Buckeyes lead is two. Of course, a field goal would win it. Clear on that with everybody. The kickoff by the Huskies, trailing it by a couple. Ball fielded by Glenn at the eight. And Glenn finds an alley up the sideline. William Houston is a 260 pound fullback, disguised as a guard back there, Brent. He's a blocker in that position. Saunders, the tight end, has been a blocker. Now it's Harris slamming into that defense. And Donovan Schmidt, Alloway, has their second touchdown on a fourth and two pass. It's 14-12, 12 minutes to go in Columbus. Here he comes again. Not much going there that time. Butler helping to hold me that when 33 comes in, they've usually got something special on for well, it. He's a little better breakaway type runner. Oh, was that Marco. Marco Farr? Defense, offside, five yards, first down. They're coming after him. Oh, nice. Benote. Springs into the hole with that speed. Benote in a foot race for the end zone. He's got it. Touchdown, Buckeyes. but still good, and it's 21 to 12. And now you've really got to second guess that third down call by the Huskies. It's uphill from here on in for Washington. Point, and the Buckeyes leading 21-12 inside of 10, fourth quarter here in Columbus. And they come back with Benote, who ran 49 yards for a touchdown. Have a running back that makes a big play, his pulse rate's up, his confidence up. So the defense was offside in that situation. Point. Hands now to Benote, and Benote is slammed into by Springstead. Second and five. And they pound away with Benote. The umpire took a heck of a shot. They're staying in two tight ends, and that makes them balance up that defense just a little bit. There's Benote. He's getting the calls, and DeMarco got a hand on him. Lamblight eyeing that clock. 7.40 to go. 21-12. He's on the short end. Benote has replaced Harris. Pulls away from Mason and gains an extra yard. Off, Brent. 
Here it's third and two on the checkoff. And first down. Brings the game clock down with it on the count. Eating up precious seconds. Pounding away with Benote. Oh, they bust another one, and he's down at the Husky 39-yard line. Seven consecutive carries for Benote, who exploded for the long touchdown. Now they come in with a fresh runner in Raymond Harris. 5.50 to go, 21-12. Bucks over the Huskies. It's been a quality program. But they'll have to rededicate themselves if they can't come back in this one. And now, Eddie George, the sophomore runner. In this situation here, and you have more than a seven-point lead, I'd go ahead and run it like they're going to, Brent. Owen's going to throw for it over the middle. Wants the tight end. Ball incomplete. <laughs> a little like exciting it. down there in the end zone. What did Damon Huar, the fine young quarterback. Hoffman's his runner. And Huar hit and down he goes. Woo! Big Daddy one more time. The last one. <laughs> He's chuckling right now, folks. But Huard comes right back at him. They send the backs out as receivers, and the pass is deflected. And both of them are in there right now. So it's fourth down, six yards the Huskies need. This will be it. Incomplete. Ohio State ball, 247. Bucks lead, 21 12. Now he's trying to block for me playing golf, even. <laughs> what would Coach Hayes have thought about a night game? He liked to kick it off at 1230. Well, he probably wouldn't have been too particular about a night game, but. Washington with its timeouts left if they can get the ball back. Uh, here's that fresh runner, Eddie George. George again. First, First down. down at the 140 mark. George to the 17 yard line. The seconds down on a huge victory for the Buckeyes of Ohio State. Might have spent a little bit, and they had to come on the road, and they faced a buzzsaw in here tonight. You have to be impressed with this Ohio State defensive effort. Have a losing season, the Washington Huskies and Don James. And they won't have a losing season this year either. Big one for the Bucks. 21-12. John Cooper gets a ride. For Julie Moran and Dick Vermeil, I'm Brent Musburger. So long, everybody, as the Buckeyes beat Washington 21 to 12.